I'm Rose Armstrong, and my husband and I, Martin, or Martin and I, bought this business last November. We bought McBeans by accident. I happened to come here the day before it was about to close down, and it just seemed a crying shame to let one of the greatest brands and most unique products in the UK just disappear overnight. They're remarkably simple to look after an orchid. They're the largest species in the world of plants, so they literally grow everywhere in the world. The Cymbidiums are very at home in an English house and they just like to go out in the summer into your garden under a tree somewhere or if you're in London down the back of you know somewhere just cool and not too sunny, not too overly sunny and they should pop up and be ready again for Christmas. There are over 500,000 orchids here, mostly Cymbidiums. We breed them and it takes between four and six years to get them sales. The marketing is um, something we're working out at the moment. McBeans is one of three, I think, um, companies that have been to every single Chelsea. So we've managed to get back there again this year. They just they missed two in the 20s. But, you know, they've won over 89 gold stars. So I'm hoping that that history will help with the marketing. We took on three um, full-time staff and two part-time and the three boys that are here are the best in the world at growing orchids. And we see this business in five years time as hopefully being able to look after itself and developing really beautiful rare orchids that are not the ones you'd see everywhere else at all and you know, for it to be a renowned name again. To make this business work, we need to pretty much um, treble the turnover uh, would be very helpful. It's going to be slow because orchids are, you know, we're really aiming for the next season, which is from October to the following Easter. So we've got the time between after Easter this year to, uh, to the end of the summer to really have a, you know, a good look at where to go with this business. Entering into business in your, when you're approaching 50 or over 50 would be to work as hard as you can, give it your best shot, and to be fearless and to embrace the confidence that you've gained from being around for a longer time than a young one with mistakes. If you can take a moment to sit back and not get too frightened of them, they actually, you know, time passes and, you know, things work themselves out.